I'm Libra. Welcome to our channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Someone here, it looks like this is an ex in your energy, you know, so you know who this person is. And I don't think the two of you are together right now. You're not either communicating or you're not talking to each other. You haven't spent time with this person in quite a while. Um, I feel like we're talking about a divine masculine who is... Well, who was, right? Very selfish. Um, kind of It's kind of giving like energy of like this person was so selfish. They decided they wanted to focus on um, their security, their stability, their money. This per person was very uh, oriented, career oriented. They were concerned about their money more than they were concerned about a connection with you. This person was extremely selfish. Okay, like this person is, is very materialistic. This divine masculine is showing up in the in the reverse. Okay, there this was someone here who was either detached from their feelings because they are so concerned and want to be so like maybe this person has like a goal. I don't know. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with goals or like wanting more in life because we all should have goals in life and want more and want to like really do better, right? But like this person, it affected you when the two of you were together. This person was, this is getting like get rich by any means necessary or like I don't care if I got to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. Okay. Or this is the energy of someone here who's very greedy. They only really looked out for themselves, you know, because of what they wanted. I feel like this person's obsessed with money and they're also obsessed with how they look. Okay. Um, they're in the gym. So this is somebody here who's like probably a boss. They may own a nice car or have a nice home. You know what I mean? This person might be financially stable. They may have a nice house or even a nice car you know whatever that is because this person cares about the way something looks okay even if it's ugly on the inside i'm just telling you this okay this person is somebody here who goes to the gym they take care of themselves okay this is somebody here who goes to work they go to the gym um and i feel like it's all only because of they care about how something looks on the outside this person is not it's obvious this person is not concerned about what's happening on the inside because they're showing up in the reverse and they're focused on the wrong things i think this is mentally has taken a toll on this person and they're beginning to kind of break down here i think the it looks like this person can't let go of you um you know and when you met them they weren't fully healed so you you may have i feel like there were interactions with this person where this person you triggered them and you may not have even known that you triggered this person okay Th this person i feel like they need to talk with a therapist or a loved one or someone here who has some form of like wisdom someone who has some form of experience because either this is somebody's delusional about their thinking or they are irrational or they were irrational when the two of you were together. Um, this could be someone here who may even struggle with mental instability or, you know, they may need some mental help. I don't, you know what I mean? And I'm not, I'm definitely not, um, this per or it could just be this person's not feeling their best because they've been working too hard. I don't. <laughs> really know yet but we'll see i'm just telling you what i what's what's out here all right so this person's not ready to let you go they're they're mentally unstable right now this person saw hmm this person saw you as someone that they could spend the rest of their life with you they did see forever potential they did um they were happy with you Oh, uh, what was that? Hold on. Oh, let's see what this is. That fell on the floor. Uh, yeah, you took a step back. So you took a pause from this situation here. You did. There was a very strong magnetic attraction and physical attraction between you and this person here. Okay. Very strong physical attraction between you and this person. I'm telling you this person wants to come back and compromise with you. Okay, this person wants to do 
whatever it takes to make it work. I feel like they didn't. They were so focused on whatever else this was. They miss you. Yeah, this person is seeing signs, synchronicities here. You could be seeing butterflies, um, blue butterflies. I mean, you could really be seeing anything, anything, feathers, okay? Um, yeah, for some of you all, this is their divine twin, okay? This person believes that you are their twin flame. Interesting. Yeah, they want you to know that they love you. I feel like this person is really going through it right now. This person, I'm telling you, this person is going through it. They're trying to figure out a way what they can do to change and take some form of action. But look at this. They're trying to change this deception and then take a leap of faith and take a risk. And then this says good, good change. So this person does want to come out of wearing this mask with you. They were definitely wearing a mask with you. Definitely wearing a mask. I'm telling you, I feel like this divine masculine is, is like at a breaking point because they either think that you've moved on with someone else or they may have lost you for good. Okay. Show me what else here for this divine masculine. They want to communicate with you so bad. Look at this. Communication. They want to communicate with you so bad. Very soon and communication. Literally. Okay. This person wants to expect to hear from this person pretty soon here. Um, for some of you all, you could be a Taurus. Um, someone here could be a Sagittarius, a Scorpio, a Libra, or a Capricorn. What else here for this Divine Masculine? Hmm. <laughs> I'm telling you, this person saw you as their life partner, literally. This person, when they were with you, they, you know, you know what I'm getting here, you guys? It's like they thought about a life with you. They saw themselves walking down this aisle with you. They saw you being this forever person. But I feel like at the time, this person, maybe they weren't where they were wanted to be. So this person decided to focus on money and career stability and security. But I think this person took it overboard. So this is giving insecurity, you know, like maybe this person didn't feel like they were good enough for you. Or this could be you. You may have felt like that about them. Um, but it's it's like, <laughs> yeah. For some of you guys, this person may want to come back towards you. They do want to make the effort here this time and change. They want to make good change. I mean, I see change out here. I don't think you are interested, though. You see how this woman kind of has her back turned. This man looks like he's very nervous about what to say. Like, he's trying to, he's holding her arm. And she's looking away in a totally different direction. She looks like she does not want to hear anything this Divine Masculine wants to say. Okay. Yeah. Mm. For some of you all, there could be an age difference here. Um, not for everyone. Let's see what else we have. New pathway. You could be on a new... What about this new path? strength and courage. I'm telling you, this person was so afraid to go down a new path with you and start a new life with you here. Or this person is afraid that you've moved on. Show me more here about this. This person does not want to be in separation with you anymore. Separation just came out in reverse. Shadow work. But see, you know what? It's almost like separate shadow work just came out in reverse too. This person is, I feel like avoiding doing this shadow work. Or they're realizing during this separation, they've realized they've avoided doing this shadow work. They're not going to get out of this. Purge and release. I'm telling y'all, bottom of the deck is engagement. That somebody may want to come back towards you and say... Let's get this house. Let's get married. Um, or let's be in this commitment. Let's try and do this. That's exactly what this is looking at. Because this person cannot stop thinking about you. They're about to lose their shit. I'm telling you, this person is about to lose their shit. Okay? They right now are mentally unstable and losing their minds. 
purge and release here. So I feel like this is your energy. You purge your your them of their. You know what this is, especially if this is twin flame energy. You know, like if this is really truly a twin flame connection, you can't get rid of that connection. You 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 can't cut the cord and the energy of that. It's just gonna always be there. Um, I know I have a twin. Um, it's real. You. Tr Try and cut the cord if you want to. It's not the best experience. I would not recommend that you try to cut a cord with a twin. I think you just heal and do your best to understand what the connection is. And then you work on whatever it is that you need to work on that that person, you know, reflect it back to you. Because the twin flame journey is about you healing, the both of you healing. And whether you know it or not, it's not always the other person's fault, right? It's it, both of you have decided to take this journey together. You did. And so the both of you guys need to purge and release. That's just what it is. And that's what's meant to be during this separation. I just feel like, you know, the energy that's showing up here for this divine masculine, it's, it's giving the energy of like, they kind of wanted to take the easy way out. But now they're realizing they're going to have to purge and release a lot of things. This person may be talking to a therapist. They may be talking to someone they trust. They could be praying to God. Whatever it is, I hope that they are, right? Because we want them to heal and get better. Whether you come into union with this person or not. Like, I feel like this person's like, I got to talk to somebody here. Um, this is not working for me. What else here for the... Let me, let's see what your person's block, what other blockages are here when it comes to your person. What are the blockages here for the divine masculine when it comes to this? Hold on, I dropped the card. I hate when these cards go flying out like this. Okay. Oh, addiction. Some of you all, they have some form of addiction. Oh my gosh. Could be anything. It could be drugs. It could be alcohol it could be sex you know i don't you you know your person better than i do they need help this person i'm telling you needs help here um i think they're realizing that this person could be reaching for whatever this vice is during this separation i'm telling you this person's not doing very good yeah you know this person is not expressing their their this person, when you were together, your person was not expressive, okay? They, they didn't show their emotions. This person didn't know how to clearly communicate what they needed and, and, what, and what they wanted and what they needed with you. They didn't know how to do that. Yeah. So again, if this person, I feel like there's a message here also too. Even if it's you and this person aren't talking right now, this person is like, drinking more or this person is you know doing more of something here that is addictive and because they're not mentally okay i really wish this person would go talk to somebody here red flags be careful here and proceed with caution here um i feel like this person comes back or this i don't why is this caution card out here let's see Mm. Somebody here is feeling like they have to make a final move. Somebody here is about to make a final move because they are stuck in their head. This person is trapped in their head. Okay. They, they, I'm telling you, this person is mentally trapped in their head. They're unstable. Like, this person feels like they know they've got to do some shadow work. They, I think they felt like they're just trying to take the easy way out here. But show me what else here for this connection. Hmm. This person definitely know that they were manipulative to you. And, and this person loves to be in control. This person really loves to be in control here. And I feel like this person is realizing what wanting to be in control all the time got them. It may have got them the nice house. It may have got them the nice car. It may have got them with a, a six pack. I don't know, a six pack of Dos Equis or something, okay? Whatever it is, it's, it might look good, but it's not...
stable because now they're stuck in this mental entrapment and feeling lonely. You know, they they feel like this person, I'm telling you, this person knew who you were, male or female. This person knew who you were. You are like a dot. This person sees you as like a diamond in the rough collective. Show me what else. Uh, 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 uh. What is going on here? Look at this. They ran away. They ran away. So your person's the runner here for some of you all here. Some of you all, somebody here recently got a divorce or someone may have a family here. Um, hmm. This person could have wanted a family with you. For some of you, you could have had a blended family here or wanted children. Like I said, I feel like once upon a time, the two of you thought that you would, this was your forever person. Do they love you? Yeah, they love you. You know, we have love story. I love you. And once upon a time, and then we have family time. Remember, we saw a life partner. But, you know, this person, again, was manipulative. They lied. They were wearing a mask. For a lot of you, this person hid secrets. Um, they hid a lot of secrets. I, I don't, for some of y'all, this person could be sick right now. They're not feeling very well, or this could just be them, them sick from the mental exhaustion or whatever it is that this person is going through right now. Be careful if you're not feeling very well. Um, I don't know, you, something about you needing to cleanse your energy. Maybe some of you all may, might need to do a cord cutting or just get you some sage or Palo Santo, something like that. Um, cause like, it's almost like you're under some, some form of spiritual attack here. I don't know what that is about, or this person, your person may feel like they're under some form of spiritual attack. Snake energy. What is this about? Yeah. This person is trying to figure out whatever it is that they could do or say to come back towards you and make it right. But there's something here that's not right. We have to be careful. Um, looks can be deceiving. This person could be coming back towards you and still hiding something. Show me here. The divine masculine's current energy when it comes to the collective, please. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I just had four cards come out. Three of cups in reverse, page of cups upright, four of wands upright, queen of cups in reverse. So we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Some form of third party, and somebody wants to apologize to you. For some of you, this person may literally be like, I apologize. Let's move in together. Let's reunite, please, right? Because that's what this Page of Cups and Four of Wands energy is. <clears throat> but again, I feel like with this Queen of Cups in reverse, I feel like you stop giving to this person. You don't, you're not, this person is really insecure though. And I feel like, you know, be careful because... They, this person is very sensitive right now, emotionally. I feel like, you know, um, this person is, might be, I feel like right now, you guys, this person is like distancing themselves from their family and friends or something, or this could be YouTube, but somebody's in solitude. Or gossiping, talking to their friends about this situation. Show me more on how this person feels about the collective. Nine of Cups in reverse. This person is drinking or doing something. I'm telling you, Nine of Cups in reverse is about overindulgence. Three of Cups in reverse, definitely giving overindulgence again to this is like this person is just not happy the devil in reverse look at that this person is doing everything they can to stop whatever this is um and i feel like you've let go of this toxicity this person really just is trying to gain control of this situation you know they are very unhappy so what is this person's plan 
when it comes to the collective. To watch you and stalk you, okay? Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Hmm. They want to communicate. This person wants to talk. They're, they're curious to know what you're doing here. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. They actually want to talk to you and see if they can make something work. They do. They want to see if they can make this work. So they're planning. So they're waiting. I feel like this person sitting around watching you somehow, some way, however they're watching you, right? They could be watching you on social media. They could be watching you, you know, driving by your house for some of you. They could be asking family and friends about you, whatever, however it is that they're checking up on you or keeping tabs on you collective. You know, the Seven of Pentacles is about, okay, I want to plant a seed, watch it grow, make it harvest, you know what I mean? And be patient and wait. And this is about planning. This is about step by step. Take the, take, persevere and being patient, right? Waiting to see the fruits of their labor. Like this person is sit, sitting back and planning on how and what they could do. The Empress in reverse. This person is so insecure though. They feel real nervous about this. <clears throat> Mm -mm. Five of Wands in reverse with the High Priestess. Pisces energy here, Taurus energy here. Um, geez, this person wants to... Five of Wands in reverse is good. They do want to come out of conflict, but they don't think that they are going to get anywhere with you. They want to call a truce, but they don't feel like they're going to get anywhere with you. Okay. The high priestess though because they may have told too many secrets been too manipulative for some of you all this person is secretly doing some form of magic some form of magic okay and that magic could just be anything the things that they say whatever it is um so make sure you're cleansing your energy so show me this person's next action then, please this person is so com Listen, you guys, this person is so confused. This energy is like all over the place. Seven of Cups in reverse and the Five of Cups in reverse. This person, like, is so confused. They they made a, whatever choice that they made, right? I feel like the choice that they made, which was ultimately to put you on the back burner. And I'm not saying right or wrong, but they feel like they made the wrong choice. They feel like they made the wrong choice and they're dealing with the disarray of their life right now without you and it's like now this person's like you know what i may as well just move on this person's like do i just move on and just accept this loss that i made the wrong decision mm, i mean that's what it's looking like here <laughs> Show me more here for the situation. Yeah. Yeah, this person is going... This person wants to talk to you so bad. So bad. But I feel like you're like... I, this. For some of you, this person's like... Okay, we have Aquarius energy here. So some of you could be an Aquarius or dealing with an Aquarius. This person is now saying, you know what? I'd rather be single if I can't have my person because there's nobody else that even touches or comes close so this person is just really realizing it's especially for those of you who this person like lied cheated chose someone else and made the wrong decision and they ran away from you um this person is just like they'd rather be single and um but it's almost in this energy of like they feel like it's too it may be too late and you've already moved on Show me what else here for, yeah, man. This person is still confused. I don't know what drama is going on with them, but this person has some drama going on in their life right now. This, this, with they may have some drama going on in their life with a Pisces or a Gemini, or you could be a Pisces or a Gemini. Yeah, I didn't expect to fall in love with you. I'm telling you, this person did not expect to fall in love with you. They did it. 
um, be careful what you say to my friends. Remember, I did see gossip energy earlier with that Three of Cups in reverse. So, you know, I don't think you guys are really even anywhere near this person's energy because they feel like you've moved on. They feel like it's too late. You're not really showing them much attention or, or putting your energy or giving your energy to this because this person is mentally in a, a mental prison. And so I know that you guys are not entertaining this at all. Hmm. This person misses the passion that the two of you share to, with each other. In six days, you may hear from them. Okay, is this person, a, they are afraid to contact you, so be patient with them and be open to listening to them because they're extremely afraid. Um, just because especially they're afraid, they think that you may have moved on to new love. Now, for some of you guys, you may have already moved on to new love or you might have new love coming in for you. So just be, be mindful of that. Yeah, you're like, some of you all don't want to talk because you've already moved on. Yeah, this person is, they know they made a mistake. Some of you guys have a new job or new career or promotion or something coming up here too, real, uh, in the near future. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see how you are currently feeling about this situation. All right. How's my collective currently feeling about this divine masculine? How is the collective currently feeling about the divine masculine? Oh, uh, you love the person, but yeah, you're emotional over them too. Yeah, ew, hold on, but you know they are, could be dealing with a Capricorn or younger Capricorn. Here's the deal, this person broke your heart, they betrayed you, they lied to you, there's this ending, ten of swords. This, you know this person is so toxic. Like, they hide things from you. You know what energy this person is in. With the moon, you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Capricorn. Like I said, there could be uh, either either some of you all are like a younger water sign or a younger earth sign. That's not for everybody. But you know that this person's hiding stuff and they're toxic. You know that. You love them. Yes, you do. But... <sighs> yeah. This ending... It's, it's, they disappointed you. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Show me here. What else does the collective need to know about this connection? All right. I think you guys have a new secret admirer. Okay. You, somebody here is watching you and they have a crush on you here, or this could be this old person. Um, because we did see the page of swords, but this, I'm telling you, this person is making plans to come towards you. But I think you guys are just so focused on the future. You're not focused on the path. You're, I mean, on the past, you're focused on your new life, your new job, or whatever it is that you have that's new. Yeah, time for a change. Big changes are coming. Trust the process. All right. And then we have longing, missing you and desiring the connection. So this person longs for you. They miss you. You know, let's see what this person wants to say to you. What does this person want to say to the collective? What do they want to say to the, the collective? You make me feel loved. Yeah, you, you were that queen of cups, right? Male or female. You were the queen of cups, but you're showing up now as the queen of cups in reverse. You, you stop being empathetic. You stop showing it or giving it any attention or energy. You're not, you put your foot down, you know what I mean? Um, you weren't this caring, kind, nurturing person anymore. You just stopped giving to it. I told you, look what came out. This is hard. I told you this person felt like something was too much work and they wanted to take the easy way out. And now they're realizing there is no way around it. There's no way around this collective. Let's make plans. I'm telling you, this person wants to make plans to be with you, to have a family with you. But I don't, I just don't see where they've done the work. You know, this doesn't happen overnight. Things are moving too fast. Okay. So they may feel like you've moved on here. 
things may have moved way too fast for the two of you when you got together, okay? It could have been like this instant connection, this instant pull, this instant magnetic attraction. And this person just ran away from that. It was too much. Uh, it was too intense. Look at this. What's on the bottom of, of running away? Money hungry. We'll do anything for money. I'm telling you, this person was so focused on money or they ran in the other direction where money was. Or if they're in another connection, they ran towards, you know, towards their security and their money. And they're only with that third party because they provide them with some sort of security here. Somebody here is in the gym quite a bit. They care about what they look like. Mm -mm. I'm afraid to commit. I'm afraid of commitment. I mean, if they're afraid of commitment, I think that's funny because... Several times in this reading, this person is, is showing up as getting married and you're my life partner and uh, love story and, and family time. So it, this person is definitely confused. Yeah. See what I'm saying? They're confused. I want someone else. So this person is with somebody else, you guys, or they were. Yeah. Or they think you want someone else. I'm not happy without you. So for those of you that are with somebody else, but they're not happy without you. Make that make sense. I've changed my mind. Oh my gosh, who is this? Like, this is very, um, we break up to make up. I want to move on, but I can't. You see what I'm saying? Ouch. Yeah, so that's what's going on with your person. I love you guys. Hit the like button and um, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have your notification bell turned to all so you get notifications on when I post new readings.